There's the Walter White Mobile. Back on the road again. Whoa, look at this. So I am on my second trip after COVID. I'm in the deep south and I'm staying at a Hampton Inn. And this morning I've been notified that the parking lot is gonna be blacktop today. <laughs> so there will be construction going on all, all during my stay. I just find it to be funny. guys they say good things come to those who wait now since this vehicle has been redesigned I have been dying to get my hands on it and who would know that after COVID when it's really difficult to get a quality rental I would actually get my hands on my first Chevy Traverse and there it is so I'm bringing the construction to you guys but years ago when I go to the rental counter, the last thing I wanted was a Chevy Traverse. It was just an old aging design with sloppy, sloppy handling, inferior materials on the inside and outside. It was just miserable. Now a lot has changed. This new Traverse, pretty damn cool. Clowns. All right, guys, I'm sitting in the extremely comfortable second row of the Traverse. And what's really cool about this vehicle is going with that theme of family cruiser, family and people hauling cruiser. So in the second row here, this configuration, we have two captain's chairs. And just looking in the back, it looks like the third row is pretty reasonably comfortable as well. Lots of space behind an already extended driver. So with the seats all the way back, you have great leg room and you've got this little passageway or little aisle to head to the back. That's cool when you have little kids and they jump in and they're running around back and forth, especially when you're out on the highway and the little kid decides they wanna get up and run around the cabin of the vehicle. You got the space to do it here. Very, very comfortable guys. I uh, have the ability to lean all the way back. Now let's get up and check out the third row and see how that treats an average guy. So as you can see, I'm able to walk to the back of the vehicle and sit in the third row. And you know what? For an average guy, I'm about 5'9". It's not terrible back here, especially if the clown in the second row decides to be generous and slide up just a bit. And also on either side, you have USB power ports. So no one in this vehicle, no one is going without their power for their phones or their games or their accessories or what have you. Very nicely designed. I'm gonna have to say it's a thumbs up. And if you don't need a third row guys, you have just oodles of space Pretty cool. So I'm back to doing auto reviews. And the beauty of doing these reviews is driving around. You just never know what you're gonna run into. People, places, and things. And that's part of the, it's really part of the game. You're dealing with the weather. Is it a hot day? Is it a cold day? Is it raining? Is it snowing? I love it. So I'm here in a parking lot because right now it's probably about 6 p.m. and it's the first time today that I can actually breathe outside it's hot so I do a lot of my filming in just random parking lots especially low-use parking lots because they give you lots of space they give you good angles 
good sun and good protection from wind and from noise and it's not like you wouldn't be in a parking lot so you don't attract a lot of attention this is a particularly nice one because there are buildings behind me all the way around so i'm in a little bit of a cocoon and if the sun is right it's like video magic so i used this parking lot primarily to do the interior shots of the 2021 traverse I'm about to get the best piece of equipment I've ever been given. And that's this thing right here. It's got a little air gauge, little compressor pump. Got a light. And a USB charger to keep the electronics charged. Because I was driving back from dinner tonight and I got a low tire indicator on my rental here. So I was able to pull over and add about 10 pounds to the back tire, which is interesting because I drove another 30, 40 miles and it kept the air. So I don't know if I have an extremely slow leak or if I were, I was borderline close to being low when I picked up the car on the one tire. Who knows? But it's great to have this little device here. Thank you, Jackie. So I find myself coming back to the same spaces when I've had success. And I'm here at Shiloh. So this is a Civil War memorial, if you will. And I'm going to talk about the exterior of this traverse. Very nicely styled for a cruiser. Wave to the cameraman. Much better than the alternative minivan. Now this guy is nice and stretched out because you have the third row in the back. But looks looks pretty good. Especially the upscale models, the souped up models really look nice. I'll show off the one of the cool features. Automatic lift gate. Look at the gear for today and the lifesaver for the trip. It's always good to have yourself some, some way to fill up your tires on the road. And that's come in handy because I have a slow leak on the backside tire here. Beautiful vehicle. So when the Traverse was redesigned, I guess about three or four years ago, vastly improved. Today, it doesn't look as modern as other things out in the market, but it still looks pretty good. It's been a long time waiting because I've been trying to get my hands on this vehicle for years. And now that I have it, was it worth the wait? Well, in terms of uh, people, and stuff hauling cruiser an alternative for the minivan it does a pretty good job guys and it's not bad looking either it sort of has a van look to it in fact when i visited my 80 year old aunt yesterday and i was leaving she said you got a nice looking van there so it is somewhat van like but it gives you those great cruising features that you need for a family or if you're hauling around a crew Let's check it out. Now, first off, the cabin of this vehicle is ginormous. There's lots of space here. I'm sitting in a plush leather seat that offers great support. You've got 
contrast stitching on the seats in the dash just done really nice so right off the tip much much better than the prior generation traverse the interior materials have been upgraded rather nicely nice beefy steering wheel with infotainment controls everything you'd want and expect in a vehicle today but the real star of the show here is just cavernous space in the back guys look at that so in a pinch you get seven adults in here the folks in the third row may not be as happy about life but they'll have power ports and pretty good sight lines too so here is your four-wheel drive controller or all-wheel drive nice beefy leather wrapped shifter two usb ports here that both go up to carplay which is nice and a traditional old cigarette style power adapter there for the old school folks all right guys let's talk about the infotainment system which is a standout feature in this vehicle now first off it has a colorful very quick responsive screen that provides easy intuitive control of the systems in your truck, including HVAC, and it even provides its own mobile hotspot. Now, one of the best features is this backup camera. First off, it has a brilliant color HD image, or should I say images, because there are cameras mounted around the vehicle that stitched together provide the driver a full view of your immediate surroundings. There's an assortment of view combinations, above view, front view, rear view, and even side view, which is pretty damn awesome, guys. Just look at the crack in the road. Great detail available to the driver as you back up and even going forward, I believe it's up to five miles per hour. Now, this is really, really helpful in tight spaces like crowded parking lots, or in and around the neighborhood where you have kids running about. And it's this safety technology, guys, that I've been so stoked about lately in all the vehicles. So in 2018 and beyond, all vehicles needed a backup camera. And this is just the next level. The first time I saw this, it was in a Mercedes a few years ago. And now it's available in your Chevy. So I'm on the tour at Shiloh, which is one of the bloodiest, if not the bloodiest battle of the Civil War. And lots of uh, soldiers are buried here. But it's a driving or walking or biking tour with multiple stops that chronicle the different battles that happened or the different segments of the battle of shiloh and i'll leave a link in the description box so you can check it out too definitely a cool place to stop if you're in the west tennessee area lots of information about where the battle went with timing Nice historical trip, especially if you're a history or Civil War buff, you have to get to Shiloh. Yeah, not a bad looking vehicle at all. I mean, if you have to drive a people and stuff hauler, if you're like a soccer dad or a soccer mom, much rather be cruising around in this than the minivan alternative. Let's check it out. Cavernous space. In the second row, you've got the captain's chairs. They slide up or back. Fold down for extra storage space. 
or for easy access to your third row. And it is a full-size third row. Well, close to full-size. Very, very well appointed, guys. And I love the captain's chairs. Let's take a look at the cockpit here. Just nice comfort. Here are those seats I was talking about with your contrast stitching everywhere to be found, even on the armrest here. Nice beefy storage cabinet there. Just my pet peeve. Welcome to Sirius XM. It's all you'll ever need to hear everything you want. Spacious cockpit. Hannah's got the gangster lean going for the trip. Really cool. Let's take a look at these seats folded flat. Let's look at the storage capacity, which is ginormous, guys. Even with her gangster lean, I was able to get that down. Take a look at that space back there. Again, my lifesaver. Drop that down. Look at all the space you have there. Look at all the space. That's help a friend move their, move their stuff. It's kind of space. That's a full-size bed on a hiking or camping trip kind of space. That's lots of space, guys. That's do you have a truck kind of space. And it's hot. And it's hot as hell. It's been a hot summer, y'all. Let's mosey down a little further on our tour of Shiloh. Now what's really cool for you exercise buffs is there are parts of the tour that are off in different directions because they mark the different battles and spaces. So it's an active tour. You really have to move around if you'd like, or you can just take the tour driving through but I'll show you a couple of these spots that really make for a nice active tour there's another stone over there so if I want to Look at all the different spots. I mean, it's a full day. I see a lot of people that drive here and they bring their bikes in tow. And just a great surface for biking. Very nice. 
active tour. You want to bring your good sneakers for this trip. All right. Major Richard Rowett was the commander of this. Went into posi position here at 9 a.m. on April 6th, 1862. Advanced to the right and front. And after a sharp encounter, fell back to this position where the, its greatest loss occurred. About 4 p.m. it moved to assist McClurland. Loss in the battle. Two officers killed. Two wounded. 15 men killed. 79 wounded. One missing. Total 99. 7th Infantry. And there's another placard over there. Really cool. Well, let's jump back in the vehicle and mosey down along the tour. And the Traverse is the perfect vehicle to bring a group of people on a tour like this. Because you're riding in comfort, you're riding in style. I'm selling Chevys now. So I'm back in the tour bus, guys. And a really comfortable tour bus it is. Now that brings me to the driving dynamics, which tends to be probably the most important feature of your vehicle. Although it packs a punch in terms of being a tour van, it does have much better handling than your average minivan. You never feel underpowered in this vehicle. The handling out on the highway, guys, is sublime. It's a great highway cruiser. Very comfortable. The suspension soaks up any road imperfections. And when you first get into the vehicle, it takes a little getting used to. So the last vehicle I reviewed a few days ago was the Mazda CX-30. And right away, this felt a little vague in the steering. But as you drive it as your everyday, it becomes ultra comfortable to drive. The steering is straight and true. While not sports car like, it does the everyday functions really, really well. Now let's get out and look at this tour stop where I'll show you some other hardware. Hardware from the Civil War. Thunder in the thicket. Cannons unleashed. And here is the battery. I always loved coming here as a kid. And you would imagine these things firing out. I mean, it's got to be one of the largest collections of Civil War artillery. And that stretches back. Again, very active tour. If you are into physical fitness and you're a Civil War buff, this is the place to go. You can walk for days. You can make this a multiple day tour. And go into, as I said, the tour takes you off the beaten path and I see a deer. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to film it. It's way down there. This battery of six guns was engaged here from about 3 p.m. April 6th, 1862 to about 11 a.m. Monday, April 7th, 1862, when four of its gun, guns were captured. Pretty wild. So I'm definitely gonna have to do a tick test after I'm done with this tour. I saw this shot. Someone did a shot like this where they showed. I guess you'd have to do it like. 
that. Where they showed how clean their vehicle is, and this one isn't as clean. But they started off like this, and then moved out something like that. Pretty cool. All right. So as you can see, the rear driver's side tire is a little low. So that's the one I've got to keep my eye on until I turn this puppy back in. So here's a part of the tour I filmed a lot in different reviews. So there's your new church and here's your period church, Civil War period, the Shiloh Log Church. Take a look inside. Wow. Check this out, guys. So you've got your your pews, if you will. Thought this was gonna be the Bible, but it's actually a, a hymnal. Let's come out the side. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. It's funny, I went and bought a tripod yesterday because I forgot my tripod. Haven't used the tripod once. That's how it goes. I guess it's time to do the gratuitous engine shot. Everybody wants to see the engine. So let's take a look. Let's see what's in here. I know nothing about this vehicle. I've done no research. Oh, it has a V6, okay. Variable valve. I think that's what that means. Look at this big air cleaner here. Wow. Today they have these plastic covers here. You really can't see much. And they don't want you messing around in here anyway. Lots of computer controls. But people love to see the engine, so I'm giving it to you. I learned that from my boy Pedro. When I first started doing car reviews, I didn't incorporate the engine shot. It just wasn't that important to me. And Pedro was like, what are you, crazy? You're doing car reviews. You got to show the engine. So Pedro, that engine shot, that's for you, bro. <laughs> Let's move on with the tour. I figure I got this tripod, I might as well use it, right? I'm gonna set up a drive-by shot, which I typically do. It's always nice to see the vehicle in use from, you know, the natural perspective. So I have my tripod here in the field. I'll set it up and I'll get a couple of shots of me driving by. There you go, nice rainbow and hopefully Hopefully, there won't be too many people coming through here while I do this. Okay, what's going on? All right, so, new tripod. Now this is a real wide shot. If I'm gonna go this wide, I'd like to incorporate a tree in the shot. In the foreground. Oh, there you go. Maybe I'll slide over a little bit. 
get a little bit more of that tree. Tilt up slightly, lock her in, lock that in. Then I'll run to the car, I'll back it up, I'll drive past, I'll come back, I'll tighten the shot up a little bit and do it all over again. And then maybe I'll even do a third version even tighter. All right, let's do the first version. Nice and wide. Okay, so ready for version two. This auto review stuff is some tough work, right? All right, we're gonna go with version three. Real nice tight shot. Not much adjusting needs to be done. Maybe give you a little bit less ground. Three successful trips and one tired average guy. <laughs> All right, tripod came in handy. Now I can justify it on my expenses. Doing these reviews is very physically demanding. If you want to get the right shot, if you want to tell the right piece to the story. But here's uh, what I'm talking about, a driving tour. So from your vehicle, you can still see things. So if you're not able to get out of the car often, you can still see some of the monuments. And it's really pretty, wrapped through the woods. Meanwhile, back at the pool. So, let me show you how this wrap around image of the vehicle is made. So above the um, license plate, there are two cameras there. I'm looking for the side camera. How do I get the side view? But there's a camera right here. Trying to figure out where the camera. Oh, there are cameras right here on either side of the rear view mirrors or the side mirrors. Cameras right here in the side mirror. So that those one, two. Three, four, five cameras stitched together give you a 360 degree image of your surroundings. It's pretty cool. Similar to like the GoPro Max, how you just are immersed in the image. <laughs> girl, she's so damn plump. You like a belly rub? You like a belly rub? Yeah. You like a belly rub. Yeah, you plump girl. This is a good dinner for a bear or a lion. Oh. 
20 pounds of meat right here. <laughs> We're taking Hannah to her first Southern barbecue. Right, Hannah? Yeah. Look at that. Some barbecue ribs. And we got some catfish. Uh -oh. <laughs> guys are, are eating it up, huh? No, I'll, no, I'll, I'll wait for mine. That's nice looking. The Acadia. It's pretty. It's the GMC. It's the twin to this. After dinner, we decided to go back to Shiloh to see more of the tour. So officially, this is called Return to Bell's Farm, but the locals here call this the Bloody Pond. Now, rumor has it, or the folk lore suggests that there were so many fallen soldiers that collapsed in this area and around that this reddish tinge to the pond was the blood of soldiers to me it just looks like a muddy little pond it's one of the most interesting stops on the tour in my opinion my favorite part of the tour here and the end pretty much is a shot of the tennessee river and really what clinched the Union's victory here because they were able to ship in soldiers on that river. So without this river, things might be a lot different. And this brings me to the end of my tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you've enjoyed my review of the 2021 Chevy Traverse, an all around great vehicle for people and stuff hauling, comfort, and a great alternative to the dreaded minivan. As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing. What? I'll see you next time, guys. There is actually one more section of the tour, and it is a mass burial site of soldiers fallen in this war, and we'll check that out as we leave. So at the end of the tour, there is the cemetery of fallen soldiers. I'm going to walk up a little closer to get a better shot. It doesn't look like it's open right now, or at least... The gates aren't open, but I'll come over here and give you guys a nice view of. Like I said, it's a very, very cool place to come if you're into the Civil War history. If you like walking or biking, really cool place to come and just get out into nature. Nothing like a Walmart run in the wee hours of the morning. That's all I'm going to say. Glaze is on, so I can't read it now, but I'll read it. I'll read it to you. Oh. You ready? It okay. says, hold on. Yeah, okay. It says, uh, there are some special people who make a difference in the lives of others, make the best of whatever life hands them, and make everyone else smile in the process. Dear Aunt Weedy, 
I feel so blessed by you and your friendship. You have an openness that invites others in and a warmth that makes them comfortable. I love the way love shines in you. Happy birthday. Love, Jackie and Percy, the dog. Tell us, thank you very well, much. Well, you, you're telling her right now. I'm, yeah, okay. I'm feminine. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And look at this chubby Hi. dog. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks for being in. It's really sweet. <laughs> All right. So our little vacation is coming to an end. We started our trek back to New York, but on the way, we had to stop in Nashville to go thrifting. And my friend Chad, who lives in Nashville, sent us over to pre to postmodern to get our thrifting fix on. I found this hat. So on the way home, we are in Nashville at a thrift store because Hannah likes to go thrifting. Okay, all right, well then get them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get them to change the clothes. Okay. I'm bringing them to the... What house. do you think about this hat, Anna? You don't like the hat. It's cute. I want to check the guy section too. What time is it though? Because we gotta leave. So, what do we think about this one? It's a felt hat. It's too small. What do you think? Too small. What do you mean it's too curved? Uh, yeah, well you could turn it down. Snap. She doesn't like the hat. So I'm not getting this hat. All right, so still on the road, another long day. This is the first time I'm staying at the True by Hilton. It's kind of a funky design. Had a long, long day, but still enjoying the cruising comfortable ride of the Chevy Traverse. All right, time to go to bed. Let me give you a quick tour of the room. It's really pretty interesting. Looks like it was designed for the hipster crowd. It's got sort of a vintage minimalist look. Oh, look at that. This is interesting. Little mini fridge. Here's your closet. Also dubs as a push-up bar or a pull-up bar. That light goes on and off automatically when you move in to platform beds and one more than tired average guy uh, all right guys i'll see you in the a.m uh, life on the road guys I'm looking at about a week's worth of growth here. And the other day when I was in Kroger, I found this. This is the Bromley's Smooth Operator, seven blade cartridge razor. I've been hearing a lot about this from time to time. Folks that have Kroger have been telling me I need to review this. And finally I found it. And for those of you who may be new to the channel, I also do reviews of today's popular men's grooming products. Just a little self-promotion. Seven blades of fun and a funky background. You see what I do for you guys? How many YouTube channels offer you reviews of today's most popular men's grooming products, car reviews, and funky hotels? How many? Just one. Filling up the air in the tire again. 
just spent my first night at True by Hilton. Pretty nice place. Again, thanks to my beautiful Jackie for taking care of me. Best gift ever, especially for someone who drives a lot. All right. Beautiful back seat of the Traverse. Nice boutique style Hilton property. Okay. I'm sitting in the True Hotel by Hilton, which I'm calling Hipster Boutique, made for hipsters. So in this room, you've got nice, I'm gonna say it's ceramic tile that looks like wood, very easy to clean. No more of that terrible carpeting. Nice choice. You've got your double beds here. You've got an area right here where you can roll out your workstation and move it around. Not that there's a lot of room in here. Nice colors, sort of a 70s look motif. You've got a beautiful flat screen TV, all the USB ports and connections to the TV and power around the room that you would want. They've done away with that big clunky closet that never worked just a nicer use of space a couple of things i don't like i don't like these platform beds because there's not a lot of space and what i find is i'm constantly hitting my leg up against the bed so i'm wondering if the bed the platform could be lower it's my only real complaint so far and maybe the ventilation, the HVAC system is a little slow, although it's been a hot ass summer. Loving the use of lots of natural light, these huge windows, very, very nice and affordably priced. So the last bit is the bathroom and it's nicely done guys. There's the average guy. Nice uh, splash of color on the wall here. Again, very 70s. You've got a sort of a retro canvas bag here with your hair dryer. Nicely illuminated mirror here for good shaving reviews. I like these soap dispensers here. They're easy touch and it gives you just the right amount. Fogged up shower, good water pressure. A bad caulking job. Here again, you have not radio soap, dispenses, the shampoo, the conditioner, and the body wash. And that's pretty neat. Nice clean sink or wash space you know very very ikea like if you've been to ikea this whole room could have been in the ikea store i wonder what floor we stayed on how dreams come true Nice, oh, oh. nice uh, marketing all around. Nice new elevator. Nice daughter. Go ahead, daughter. Uh, I know it sucks. Go ahead. This is a fun board with lots of informational stuff. Local attraction, local shopping. Hannah likes that. And a nice funky lobby with a pool table and lots of comfortable seating nooks. And awesome floor to ceiling windows that provide great natural light. And again, a very friendly and helpful staff 
We really enjoyed our stay at the True by Hilton in Knoxville, and I'm sure you will too. This way, you're up. Time for you to drive. Drive your old daddy. The True by Hilton in Knoxville. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can check it out the next time you're in Knoxville. Now roll the music. Thank you.